Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. This is another update on Project Penguin. Um, <clears throat> so, after a little bit of thought and consideration on the matter, um, we have decided that it's going to be done via live stream. However, I'm not going to let it clash with the challenge live stream, so we'll either be doing one at a point or the other. I do want to explain really quickly what the ultimate goal of Project Penguin is going to be. That way you guys know exactly what to look forward to. So I'm going to stop calling it that and call it by the title of chosen, of its choosing at the moment. And that is review. Um, I almost said the wrong word there. No, I didn't. Review retraction. Now. What actually inspired this is actually me watching The Completionist and his videos, which by the way, I love his videos. I have seen every single episode of it on my own private channel. Not this one, but on a, on a separate one. I believe this one's also sub to his channel, but still. That being said, um, some of the outcomes on there I actually have disagreed with in the past, and I was watching one of those videos when I started considering the idea for this series, and I was like, you know what? Just for the heck of it, no hate or anything, nothing like that, I'm going to try to start doing a series where I can create, I, my, I can create an attempt of creating the opposite claim. Now, for those who don't watch the, watch the Completionist, why are you watching this first? But to reiterate what I'm trying to go about it, I'm going off of the five official ratings for it, which are donate it, look at it, play it, finish it, and complete it. The ultimate goal of this series is to try to give the game presented with the complete opposite um, rating, unless it's play it. In that case, our ultimate goal is going to be try to find different reasoning, our own reasoning, to agree with the same outcome. With that being said, because of the factor that um, all of his completionist playthroughs are done on a live stream, that is how we're going to be approaching it. The difference is he does separate individual videos about it, about his rating and the process. In our case, because we already have all these side videos going on day after day after day after day, and we try to keep those consistent. What we're going to be doing instead is we will be doing all of this in live stream. The entire thing will be done via live stream. And that will keep going until either a change of plans has been presented and we're able to make it easier for us to do it otherwise or something of the matter. But until then, this is kind of the plan for review retraction. Now, once again, I want to make it clear. I love The Completionist, the series, and I love the work Gerard and his team do. They deserve all the good credibility we can get. So I do want to make it clear that this series is being done off of a diverse opinion on some of the results, in turn, creating more of a, for the heck of it, kind of series. Just at, for fun, to com completely give an opposite rating. For example, one of my favorite um, episodes that he's done is of Persona 5, the original, not Royal. Um, so one of our ultimate goals, if we, when we get to that, because it might be a long while until that, will be to 
go through Persona 5 hundred percent completion wise Whoop. forgot to turn that off and be through that since he gave it a believe he gave it a rating of finish it our job will be to for that particular one as an example our job will be to try still to be honest but to try our best to find reasonable logic sound logic to instead give it a rating of look at it. Find sound reason for why it shouldn't be that, but instead the alternative. In reality, I actually, if I were to claim it now, I have never completionist completed that game, but if I were to give it something now, it prob I'd probably agree with Gerard. However, I have never experienced the full completionist process, and once again, I've never really thoroughly thought about the ups and downs. I've just played it for the story, and I like Persona stories, so that gives it a biased rating, which I will need to drop once we get to that. It'll be far down the line, but it is a very good example of what I'm talking about. Our goal, my goal, while streaming, will be for me to find the flaws and see if there are enough flaws in the game to be able to present it with a proper play it rating or look at it rating instead of a finish it rating. The same concept would go for games that he says completed for. Let's use that as another example. Let's see. The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Great game, by the way. So, what, as my opinion stands at the moment. He gave it a completed rating. Our goal for this series will be to give it a donated rating. It's going to make us look horrible if we succeed at that. However, once again, it's just, there's one other aspect that I have not presented yet that I might as well talk about now, especially with this particular example. That one we will most likely fail at, because I have actually completed that game before. Holding my opinions back. With that being said, though, under that front, we'd probably fail. And under that front, we'd actually provide the original reviewer, this time being Gerard the Completionist, with a point. And by the end of a certain time range, a certain line of these, whoever has the most amount of, if our team, if the nostalgia, if the nostalgia team has overlaid the amount of points as the original reviewer themselves, we're using the reason I use Gerard, by the way, his channel as um, examples is because he's the core of the idea for the moment. And we'll probably try to go off branching out for different reviewers as well in the future, but that's where we're going to start. It'll be a point system. If we lose, if us over in the Nostalgia Train lose, I am going to have to do a challenge that I will have you guys suggest in a poll, either on the channel or during a live stream, depending on circumstance. But we will get to that point when we get there. I think enough information has been exploited, and I think you guys know what to expect now. Let me know what you guys think. The idea is definitely out there, and I am not backing down this time, so let us know what you think. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to this once again as a final reiteration. I'm not doing this out of malice. I, we are not doing this out of spite. We are doing this because we think it would be fun. The idea was presented because it, we thought it would be an interesting idea and something unique, something that you don't see on here very often, a contrast and reasoning for it, especially on live stream form. So we hope you guys agree with us. And we hope you guys are looking forward to this. We will be starting the first of it soon, which I believe, if I remember correctly, is Mega Man X. 
a game that I would end up be doing blind in the live stream if I did it. But we'll see. I do have to prep a few final things, and we do have to get through our challenge live stream first. But once we're done with that, maybe we can boot up the first of the long line of now, I believe, over 400 different rated games. Realistically, I am actually looking, I'm very much looking forward to this. So, with that being said, I'm going to leave this here. Once again, let us know what you guys think about this in the comments below. It's going to happen regardless, and we hope you guys support the idea, and we hope to see you guys there once it gets started. Thanks for tuning into this video, guys. Thank you for supporting the channel for as long as you guys have, regardless of how long that may have been, or how short it may have been. But yeah, thanks again, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed this introduction to the um, series, show, whatever you want to call it. Maybe eventually we'll make it a show. For right now, though, it's going to be a series. We hope you guys enjoyed it, and we hope to catch you guys when it starts. See you guys later.